Hi, this is Lee Pinkman, founder of Bitbank.nz. We provide high quality forecasts based on machine learning and live up to date charts and indicators across 70 plus cryptocurrency markets. Our platform exposes what normally is hard to see, which is what a high frequency trading algorithm would be doing in the markets. But our company was born on from an automated trading bot that I'd wrote and that I needed more visibility into. So we provide our predictions with supporting evidence. One of the features of our algorithm is that it builds supporting evidence based on historical examples. So for every prediction, we can go in and check why it's predicting what it is, and then perform it in that way in the performance. It lets you drill down to see charts for each market. And we try and be as transparent as we can so that you can see where our projected buy and sell points were over time and where our projections were so that you can build confidence in our predictions. So we provide high frequency live predictions every few seconds. So it's about 10 to 20 seconds for each prediction and we're predicting 5 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes and 2 hours into the future, and what we're predicting is what the weighted trade average will be over those time periods. So currently we don't show the volatility, just where your trade is likely to sit if you executed a trade and then executed another trade in those time periods, so that you can see what your expected returns will be if you performed averagely. So we also yep, provide historical accuracy and share our methodology and share our experiments and our testing on our blog so you can see what kind of experiments we're doing with our automated trading systems and what our performance is. We, we just took the buy and sell points as is. We've got an API so you can write bots on top of that platform, both our live feed API for the web and a historical data API so you can create your own custom charts and do your own data science to figure out what price is going to be based on uh, indicators which we also have available in our API. So I'll show you the main forecast of the year. Is where you would figure out what's the next upcoming cryptocurrency. So in this view it lets you see all the different cryptocurrency markets. You can click in here to dig in. Importantly it shows you how long ago these forecasts were, so they should update every so often. And some of them aren't updating. This may be because there's not enough trades happening for us to compute our metrics. So and what our metrics are are based more on the actual orders that are executing rather than the order book. We do compute the order book imbalance, which is computed by taking the weighted average of the order book and figuring out how far that is to the midpoint, which is basically the best buy and best sell halfway in between those. So if that's positive, there's a lot of buys close to the, the best buy and not so many sells close to the best sell so there's a lot of kind of upward pressure if this is positive like in the example of here. you can click in see graphs over the time back one here is a bit of a edge case because Got such a large spread. But you can see what the projected forecast in the weighted trade average is now. And here the order book is positively weighted. But we're still predicting that the trades are going to be on average pretty lower. So we're also computing the weighted 
trade this oops, midpoint. So that's where the weighted average in the trades is over 30 minutes. And the distance to the, from that to the current midpoint in the order book. Same with five minutes and two minutes. This is weighting the trades by the amount. And the weighted trade slope is using logistic regression to create a best fit line that's through the weighted trades over time. And yeah, again, it's weighting the trades by the volume. So if there's a really large trade, the line is going to be more affected by that. So you might look for something that's going up recently, but has been crashing and then it's just ticked, trending up. In this case, we've got Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin and Litecoin, so it's trending up. That might be one strategy to. Yeah, here we go. Bitcoin XMR. So Monero has gone down one percent in the the weighted average of the trades, but now is kind of hovering. So maybe you can see what that looks like. So the projections are. Quite an interesting value add that you won't get anywhere else. These are what our algorithm computes that the weighted trade average will be from the midpoint in the next five minutes, 30 minutes, six minutes, and two hours. So these projections get less and less accurate the further you go out, but the five minute one should be the, the best, and it will often show you something's been overbought or oversold, but if it's reaching a peak or Rock bottom, so these are quite powerful indicators to show you to buy and sell. We think that Pascal is going to go up a lot. So, with Pascal coin, it's come down quite a bit. When you zoom into these graphs, you can see these little orange triangles and pointing down is the recommended sell, and that's generally above the best ask price, the most competitive selling price. And on the bottom, you can see our recommended buy and the best bid price. So, how much people are buying for, and how we would buy for if you're running a projection tethers. So these have got a bit of margin added to them so that they can be confident that making these trades is going to money. And they're based entirely on the projection and the spread, what we think the price is going to do effectively. You can also see the order book imbalance over time. So you can see in this case it moves a little bit with price, especially when there's these down periods or sort of Selling pressure. So the order book is weighted towards lots of people wanting to sell, and then people wanting to buy, and comes up as we go up. And here you can see the weighted average distance to the point. You can see it's effectively like can be used as a kind of a MACD style trading approach where if the line is low, it's coming up to zero, that means. The weighted average is it's kind of gone down a lot in the last 30 minutes here, and it's turning back up. So you can expect that the uptick in the sort of steep fall off here is changing up in this turning yeah, this kind of low point. See how the dates are coming in over time, so our projections are always changing. This is what we think is going to happen. To what the arrow is going to do. So the line is looking quite flat at this stage. But there 
let's see. If you look at the weighted trade average, it's trending up. So, what is low here? 30 minute trade average into kind of plus the zero line. So we just have to see like a uptick here. Also show the slopes in the trades over time. So you can see how much things are moving through the different time buckets. So here I am looking at the prices of Monero over time. And right now you can see it's just starting to fall because the weighted average distance to midpoint has just kind of peaked out here and lost momentum. And so we have a rise in the weighted average for 30 minutes in the trades, weighted by how big they are. It's just kind of stopped climbing that bit. So you can click on this graph of the order book prices over time to see what, what our projections were and kind of see how accurate they are. So you can just click on a few of these points. And this orange line is where our forecasts were at that point in time. So you can get a good idea of how accurate our opinion has been based on the previous forecasts. The five minutes projection is pretty accurate. So if you're a bit happier, you can see that go down. So if you notice that it's kind of at a peak and it's going to crash a bit, that can be a really good tool to keep close eye on to see when you need to quickly sell if you're peaking at the top and buy if you're kind of peaking at the bottom. We also show the order book over time, so you can see if there's a lot of upward pressure in the order book, there's a lot of buys close to the best buy. You can see it come up here, or if there's a lot of sales close to the best sell, it'll turn negative, and the weighted average in the order book will be a lot lower than, than zero. So midpoint is best buy and best sell in the middle of that. So that would be above where the weighted average in the order book will be when there's a lot of pressure on the selling side. And you get negative values here. And this weighted average just just midpoint is quite a good one if you want to use this in a similar way you would do to when you're using MACD or with any kind of weighted average indicator. You're just looking for these points like this where the 30 minute weighted average is high. That means you've just gone up a lot in 30 minutes. When it's tending to zero like it's just done now, that means the slope in the fall off is slowing down and this is now roughly at the weight average in the trades is roughly at the point where the market is now. So here you can expect this to pop up a bit after this little crash. That's what our forecasts are showing as well. And here you can see weighted best fit lines in the trades over time. This can also be an indicative of where the market's going. So right now, the 30 minute slope. As you see, it's starting to go up now. The 30 minute and the 5 minute slopes in the trades that are getting exceeded are just going right up. Just like it forecasted. Thanks, everyone. You can also scroll down. And at the bottom of these, you can toggle a few more points of data. You've got 2 minute weighted average trade distance to the point. There's another few lines you can show here. Sometimes that'll be null if there wasn't enough trades for us to compute these metrics. Really a liquid markets, and also something I find really helpful is toggling spot lines so you can see exactly where you are in these charts. 
to sign up. Yeah. Thanks. This data table here, you can see our current market bid, which is the best bid in the market, best buy price. You can see what our algorithm would be buying at and how much expected profit we would be expecting to make on that buy. Um, how much percent that is below the best buy. Same for selling as well. And we'll see what the sell price should be. So that's long above the current market ask is the best sell price. Expect that to be covered on. If that trade goes through, 